Yo, what's going on, 67 Lander Squad? I just played an amazing Poseidon game, and I was really excited to show you guys it, and I, I was even going to double feature. This guy banned Poseidon, unfortunately, though, so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just play my second most most played god, which is Anubis, and uh, I was going to do a Poseidon-Anubis duo game, you know, not duo game, but back-to-back -back game, and my mic wasn't work could you believe what kind of youtuber am i where i don't check my equipment before i start recording how much how how dumb can one person be it's honestly it's impeccable my two brain cells are rubbing together creating so much friction i'm about to have one brain cell soon anyways let's, let's forget everything that just happened and start playing smite because this is going to be a little bit of a tough one, I think. Raw is really good. Raw is underestimated. Straight up. I don't know. I'm just going to auto him. Oh, he's starting Rod of uh, Sclepius. All right. Well, you know, you got to respect it. All right. I'm so honestly bad at games. It it does hurt me sometimes. Okay. I don't really know what's happening here. Reason I turned away is because of the fact that I don't want to be blind. All right. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. This is really good stuff, actually. My man's got no mana. Alright, you should die here. Perfect! That was... That was perfectly played. Honestly, he <laughs> like... That was just straight up perfect gameplay. The three on the minions, knowing that I would hit level 5, getting ready to instantly level up my alt on level 5, Landing the auto attack to get him just in range so I can immediately ult without the wrap and still get the kill. Everything played out perfectly. But don't get complacent just because we got first kill. First blood doesn't mean that much if you if you all remember correctly. What's my buff at? Okay. Ow. I just got full comboed by a raw. I'm about to I'm about to die to a raw. This is not good. I've been in bad spots. But this is Oh, that actually hit him. Alright, you go back, yeah. Go back. Go sit somewhere else. I want your blue buff. Did he back? Well, I guess we'll find out. He did. Nice. Uh, did he use his beads? I assume he didn't. Because last time I killed him, I kind of freehanded it. Like this. Dude, once I get my divine, that won't be able to work. It does make him tanky, though. Keep that in mind. He does get protection, and he gets power, too, standing in his heel, so... It's not all about the heal. He gets he gets some bonuses from it. Very good. Just going around farming right now. Like I said, don't get complacent. This man, uh... Oh my goodness gracious. That scared the bejeebus out of me. This man is fast and does a lot of damage. Unfortunately for him, I also do a lot of damage. I'm 20 seconds out of my ult. If I get my ult, he dies 100%. 
this kind of weird zoning thing he's trying to do doesn't really work concerning the fact that we're both mages. There's the beads. Perfect. Now I have alt up. I don't have the mana to use my wrap and my alt though. Alright. Fine by me. Taking red buff. And then... I'll go get my boots. Cooldown boots, of course. Now, he doesn't have beads. If I land the wrap, I should full combo. Your middle tower is under attack. I want his blue buff, honestly. Red buff is nice and all, but blue buff is where it's at. Perfect. I don't think he knew he was standing on a ward. I don't really care about the any kind of tower. <laughs> I don't really care about any kind of tower damage that I could potentially do here. I'd much rather just get his buff and solidify a lead. Man, he missed that entire minion wave. That is so good. That is so good. He's level nine. I'm about to hit level eleven. He will hit level ten off this minion wave though. But it is good that we we delayed him a bit. Big damage. Not level 10? Oh, he's still got minions. I don't know why I threw that auto attack. Just get hit by a tower. That was kind of... Dumb. Oh, okay. What's with the alt? I know for a fact his speed buff is up. Okay, I lied to you. But I'm gonna combo him here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Heck yeah. I'll push up a minion wave. I can back and get a full divine now. I'm having this kind of mental debate right now whether I want a, a full divine or a full pestilence. Which one is more worth it immediately? And I think because of the fact he went warlock staff, his damage is a little bit lower than what it could be. Um, if he went like a real build. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go with the divine. Because I don't think his damage is scary enough. Alright, he ulted it with 34 HP. I honestly could have just auto-attacked it. Gonna run. That's fine. I'm to clear. I'm so bad. Um, What do I want here? I want his blue buff. He probably would not be expecting me at his blue buff. I'm gonna just throw that there. Kill some minions. One more auto. Should have enough to full combo. He will beads it, but. Or he'll just Aegis. Alright, so he got defense, and we got his Aegis. That guarantees we go Divine, and then we go Pestilence next. I'm going to go Blink, second Relic. Ankh wouldn't be bad. But with Divine and with uh, Pestilence, 65% healing reduction should be more than enough to win. I don't think we need to do the whole 105% shenanigan. Blink is going to come in handy. So good late game. He probably has beads up considering he just uses Aegis on my last ult. So I'm assuming... 
Next time I ult, it'll be a bead. So which means no damage immunity, which means even if he does beads it, there's definitely still kill potential there. I'll start trying to hit tower a little bit. I mean, he's raw, right? So it's not like I'll be doing a lot of damage, but still, still okay. Um, he's getting a full pestilence right now. Put that back. It's a good back. Don't know if I'll be able to get the kill with it. The full pestilence. Yeah, full combo doesn't kill. Very good. Very, very good. Immediate use of the blink and... Um, uh, the immediate use of the blink in order to stop his back while catching him off guard before his heal came back up was so big. And then the fact that I have Divine meant that I could out-damage his is heal with my one and the fact that I'm leveling it and then all I had to do was make sure I didn't die which was pretty easy when you have complete damage immunity as a relic not bad that's my red buff I have pretty good damage here. Uh, unless I miss. Not enough to kill. Sucks he actually got the red buff. I think he's altered me once this game. Like, he's actually hit me once, but he only used one alt on me. Because every other alt has been on, been for the red buff. Uh, he's gonna go more defense. Okay, I'm gonna go straight to Karen's then. The good old Karen coin. So my man is stacking that defense up. I'm not gonna let that happen. There's no chance, buddy. You want to stack your defense? I'll stack my pen. We'll see who comes out on top. By the way, it's me. Because with your heal, you get more protection when you're standing in it. So. My, uh, I'm going to max my build at 40% pen. And I'm not even, I'm not even trolling. I'm actually going to do it. He's going Pestilence Bulwark. I'm going to do so much damage through that combo. Not to mention the HP he's going to have. I suck. But 77 damage. Wow, I'm extreme. He really is clapping at me. Running away and clapping. Okay, that actually hit you though. Mm, just running. Just running. So annoying. Alright, I want the red buff. How much is Karen's? I can actually get it. 20% pen. And then what's more pen I could get? Typhings would be 10%. Muradin would be 10%. Oh, Soul Reaver is definitely the play. 10% pen. And look how much health he has, dude. 22 or 2300 already? Storyver is going to demolish this boy. Whatever. I'm okay with to just farm up, honestly. I mean, he's got no kill potential on me, so. That was so dumb. Think 
Thanks, bud. Um, okay. Let's just go Charons and then go Sor- Actually, let's just build full Soriver first. There's an Oppa going crazy. And I got a message. One second. I'm waiting- I'm waiting for Soriver anyways, so. Give me more. Okay. Nothing changed. That's cool. Soriver is going to be so good for me. Unfortunately, it's only 10% pen rather than a 20% pen, but it's still pretty good. The book, Polly. Probably a book. I can't kill him. Maybe I can actually here. It's very nice. Okay, he's just gonna run away. Um... This is the problem is that his ult does so much damage even though he's full tank. I can't do Bull Demon against him. But I'm gonna freaking try, dude. That is very bad. Alright. This is Bulwark Proc. The problem is just like, I can't kill him, you know? Like, <laughs> I can do so much damage, but I can't kill him. Maybe I can here. He's so fast. Nice. Nice, very nice. I can't do Bull Demon yet. I need to get away first. I should have enough HP to do Bull Demon now, and I will ult it if I need to. I can get my Charon coin whenever it comes up. And then I think I sell boots for a Chronos Pendant, probably. I would love to save my alt, by the way, which is what I'm trying to do here. I know it's definitely more risky, but I think it's for the best. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab a 500 pot. Because I want cooldown, right? Like, cooldown is super important. So grabbing the 500 pot gives me cooldown. I only have 10% right now. The red pot gives me 20%, and then the blue buff will give me to 30%, which is really good for a potential fight. I have 30% pen now, and 30% cooldown. So this is very good for me. Yeah, my damage is nothing to joke out anymore. I'm trash. Nice. He didn't expect me to go that direction. I should be able to get Phoenix now. And I have the cooldown to just spam my abilities on any kind of minions that show up.
All right, and this is a Phoenix. Good stuff. You know, it's been a pretty back and forth game, even though I haven't died. I have Aegis though, so nothing he does stops me here. GG, dude. He went, he sold the, the Bulwark for Genji's, but going that tanky just allows me to do like a very heavy damage build, which Sir Jackknife, if you are watching, you can't really pull that off against an Anubis. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.